another Inside Music Row. Today, we'll hook up with Jason Michael Carroll as he gets set to release a Cracker Barrel project. We'll also check in at the annual rope event with a few legendary Opry stars. Finally, we'll see what the folks at the Bluebird Cafe are cooking up. All this and more coming up Inside Music Row. I'm Bailey, and I'm so glad you joined us for another Inside Music Row. We've got a great show today, so let's get started with Georgia Bella Jansen. The newborn daughter of Kelly Lynn and husband Chris Jansen was born at 4.30 p.m. June 30th. She weighed in at 6 pounds, 8 ounces, and was 18 and a half inches long and is quite healthy. The family and the new addition are doing great. James Otto is doing what he can to help flood victims in Minot, North Dakota. The former North Dakotan hosted a live streaming benefit concert with all the proceeds donated to the local Red Cross. An anonymous yet generous fan has pledged to match up to $5,000 in donations. This show is part of his new Thirsty Thursday concert series streamed from his home studio. Check out stageit.com to get hooked up. Red Hot duo the Jane Deere Girls have joined up with Nick Jonas and Quaker Chewy to find the first Quaker Chewy superstar. Kids ages 8 through 14 are invited to sing to one of four songs, which includes the hit Wildflower. The contest winner will receive a $5,000 cash prize, will record a song produced by Nick Jonas, and be signed to the Jonas Management Group. Check out ChewySuperstar.com to enter, but the contest ends August 5th. New country trio Stealing Angels are back stateside with a new perspective on life. Their first overseas tour took them to military posts throughout Iraq and Kuwait. The visit is one of the last tours of its kind as many troops are scheduled to withdraw in the coming months. The Fontenelle Mansion has added a new attraction this month. The course at Fontenelle is an 18-hole regulation disc golf course, which will be open year-round and is free and open to the public. No tee times required. Now it's time to go inside the song. Jim Collins and Marv Green thought they had a huge hit on their hands with It Just Comes Natural. But anytime George Strait decides to cut a song of yours, it should do quite well. We asked Jim about the hit he wrote with Marv, which became George's 42nd number one hit on the Billboard charts. Well, that one was a strange one because uh, I really did not have an idea, and uh, I wrote it with Marv Green, and Marv Green, we didn't, neither one of us really had an idea, but uh, I had this little um, groove, you know, I was playing some chord changes and things, and Marv just, he said, uh, sunshines, you know, like that, and I, I went, clouds rain, you know, and we literally wrote it just, you know, it, and it's kind of hard to remember when I'm when I play it out live, you know, because it's so kind of everything, uh, you know, sunshine, cloud, rain, train whistle blow, you know, guitar. I mean, literally, it's like that. And then we got to the point where the, it, there was a little hole, and we we're like, well, what does it need to say? And he and Marv said, uh, and I love you. And we, I went, well, now we got a song. It just comes natural. The tours out there on the road are a whole lot hotter than this July heat here in the States. Let's take a quick peek at who's going where and when. a quick little break but before we go we have some awesome new music up for grabs we want to tell you about we have the latest Cracker Barrel project from Jason Michael Carroll you'll hear more about it coming up next but if you want to enter this week's drawing you have to enter online at insidemusicroad.com just click on the free music link and follow the instructions to sign up or to update your profile we'll catch up with Jason next so don't go away we'll be back in a sliver hi I'm Jason Michael Carroll and I'm coming up next on Inside Music Row